Good morning and welcome to Wednesday Word. Over the past few weeks, I've been spending some time in the book of Proverbs. And the Lord reminded me as I was reading Proverbs 16 of something that he spoke to my heart years ago as Tina and I were at a student camp in Texas. We were there as chaperones for a group from First Baptist Church in Lexington, Mississippi. And the Lord really was working in my heart. It's when I was first learning about the Christ life and about simply living a surrendered life and walking with Jesus and allowing Jesus to be Jesus in me. And I was reading one day, leaned up against a brick building. I was reading in Proverbs chapter 16. And I ran across this a couple of days ago. And the Lord just brought back what he had spoken to my heart then. And I just want to speak something to you today and ask you a couple of questions. In Proverbs 16, beginning with verse 1, the Word of God says this. It says, The plans of the heart belong to men, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Verse 2, all the ways of a man are clean in his own sight, but the Lord weighs the motive. You hear what he's saying here? He says, look, the plan of the heart belongs to a man. And we think, and we look at our plan, and we think it's good, it's clean, but God is weighing out the motive. What's the motive of why I do what I do? What's the motive behind what you do? What you do? Why do you do what you do? What's the reason behind it? You know, he goes on in verse 3 and he says, Commit your works to the Lord. And boy, this is what really spoke to me. Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. Man, as I was leaned against that brick wall reading this back years ago, the Lord says, Wayne, let me tell you what you've done. You've planned out your life and you're asking me to bless it. He says, what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to commit your ways and your works to me and let me establish your plans. Let me establish your path. I'm asking you to place yourself under my authority. Give your plans to me and say, God, your will be done. That you do in and through my life what you desire. You know, at that point, I had no, no plans whatsoever to spend the rest of my life in ministry. But man, the Lord had a different plan. And I'm so thankful, leaning against that brick wall years ago, that I began to realize that, yeah, I, I planned my life out. I had it all planned out. I knew what I was going to do. I was going to coach. I was going to teach. I was going to eventually go into school administration. And I had it all planned out. And the Lord says, why are you doing what you do? He says, look, that's what you want. But I have a different plan. And I have a different purpose. And I want you simply to commit your works to me and let me establish your plans. What about you? Have you planned your life out and say, okay, God, this is what I'm going to do. Now you bless it. Or have you come before the Lord and says, look, Lord, I belong to you. You bought me. You purchased me through the shed blood of Jesus. My life is yours. I give. I commit my plans to you, my life to you, my works to you, and I will allow you to establish my path. Because see, you realize in verse four, it says, the Lord has made everything for his own purpose. Are you living out your God-given purpose because you have committed your works to the Lord and allowing him to establish your path? I pray that you have a blessed day and I pray that you walk with Jesus today, commit your works to the Lord and let him establish your path. Let Jesus be Jesus in you today. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching Complete in Christ as we strive to teach you about the Christ life. And we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And may you have a blessed day walking with Jesus.